Dillinger, Reyes. Under two minutes remaining, deep is the second quarter, a spin by Dillinger. Oh, yes, that is. Indecisive moment there for uh, Reyes. They have, a they have had a chance to improve the lead to 9, 10, 11 points, but they've thrown those opportunities away, allowing him able to stay in the game. On the floor, para sa Ginebra, Elter Brand, Miller, Mink, Pumid, and Hatfield. Here's Mink, and now Elter Brand to three. No go. Elter Brand started the, this ball game with a three pointer. Kamatala, here's Reyes. Reyes, oh, nice pass inside. Good idea. That was a very good idea. So, ito nga masapaan ng isang Ginebra player. Very clear na nga. No complaints on the part of uh, Coach Jong. That happened right in front of them. That's why the ball didn't get to Ali Peak. 17 seconds left on the shot clock. They space out the floor para kay Jason Castro. Here's Dillinger. Dillinger fires. Still looking for the bandit. And miscue there by Hatfield, an easy rebound. But holding on to the line. Jimmy Alapad is sent back in for more firepower. Jimmy Alapad for Jared Dillinger. Looking even they go smaller, they have more firepower. They still have quickness. And Jared Dillinger has been missing his last few shots here. You know, you get the two, three, four. No, they have to call the 30 second timeout right now. 30 seconds timeout. One minute and 17 remaining. This is the second quarter. Lamak on talking text. 45-38, for your second time out, brought to you by Andy Pitts, the first aid ng bahay mo, puzzle and seals all. Well, Andy Pitts has been with us this whole conference and of the past. They continue to do well, you see those guys there, Kelly Williams, two fouls, has come back into the ball game, Rich Alvarez has not been fielded. Very important game, maybe you want to limit your usage of people to eight or nine players at the most. Mamatay na kayo dyan. We need this game. And look at uh, the comparison here for Majestic Mountain. Alipi. Majestic Mountain. Yes. So look at the game. Okay. Last two games, average of 23 points. 90% oh. from the field. And an offensive foul. Oh. And an extra motion. Uh, you know, too big is a master of the side wall. <laughs> You know, Jimmy Lapad comes in with two fouls, was supposed to be there to help set them up, and he picks up another foul, yeah, an offensive foul, I think. He might get the technical too. Here's what happened. Yeah, the na actually si Tubit at si Lapad. When Lapad pushes Tubit, the Tubit, as you know, has the skill of magnifying... Anything. <laughs> magnifying the obvious. Yeah. yeah. And then he comes and runs interference with him. And then, you know, and knowing Tobit, hindi, hindi niya tatantanan itong si Alapad, lalo pa niya yung lalapitan. Yeah, it was. That's his third offensive foul. He might get a technical for that extra motion. Yeah, that's true. That's a good call. He had an extra motion against him because, uh, you know, Tobit tried to come in. He probably said, get out of my face. He was just still here. <laughs> And I was actually wondering before the game. Kasi wala na si Mac Cardona eh. Ah. So wala na yung favorite ng Barangay Big Dome. Ah, wala no. na rin yung favorite ni Tubit. And I was wondering, sino ang magiging ano rito? Hanapin naman Play, yung Flavor yung of the month. month. And it might turn out to be Jimmy Alapag of all people. You see, alam mo, malaking bagay I said. Token Pets has had the chance to improve the lead. You see in the world. They have stuck, they've been stuck at 45. Now that offensive foul, they have possession. It allows Sinebra to get this one point and possession of the ball. Ah, two, two technicals. You know, Ali Peak is still talking with Ronald Tobit. <laughs> oh, really misses the second technical. We have uh, Abad coming into the ball game for the first time, replacing Jimmy Alapad. Three personal fouls now for Jimmy. <laughs> Something that Ginebra can capitalize on. Ginebra down by six. Here's Miller. Lots of time to shoot here. One minute to go. At Bagsak si Eric Mink. Well, you know what, Ryan? He, he, the order there probably is not to go under, but to go through the pick being set. 
Well, he banned straight. He didn't do anything when he was stopped with the foul. They are in penalty. I, you know, I don't know what Chot Reyes is doing. Uh, Chot is actually <laughs> egging the crowd to cheer even harder. Obviously, he doesn't like some of the calls that are coming. But he's not reacting violently to it. Not yet. <laughs> well, he's still on top. <laughs> Double oh, foul. double foul here between Ali Peek and Rudy Hatfield. Now it's going to be a jump ball again. Because there was no longer any possession when the ball went up in the air. So that's going to be a jump ball. Now despite the small Double foul, that's going to be a jump ball. Ito pare, hindi na matalo si jump ball ito si Ali Peek. Even kanina, he won the tip. He just didn't go to his teammate. Look at it. He got it again. Great timing and he leans on you. You know, all the years I've seen him, he's always a great jumper from the jump ball situation. Last minute of the first half brought to you by Minute to Win It. So na defense dito ang barangay Ginebra Kings. Here's Carey, outside Reyes. Pocket decks up by five. They're up by seven. 47-40, Talking text on top, 35 seconds remaining, keep us a second quarter. Two more offensive plays coming up for us. I don't think the we know really lost it. And who gets it? Recovered by Meng, shot clock continues to run. Six seconds of the shot clock, 22 seconds remaining in the first half. Here's Helter Brand on the move, and he got the friendly roll. There's no call by the referee. Cuts the lead down to five. Five points for J.J. Helderman. May have had the last first and last shot for Hinebra in this first half. And now talking text. With the last possession here. Five seconds remaining. There's a foul to give on the part of Barangay Hinebra. Alapak is going to be sent one more time. Now he better come, not come in and throw in another offensive foul. And look at the way he's greeted. Merry Christmas, Jimmy Sabinang in Ever Frank. Merry Christmas! You are on top of their list. Hindi ko lang alam kung Christmas list o kung ano list yun. Well, not the hate list naman. We are not that kind of people. Not on Christmas. No, not in December. 1.9 seconds remaining. Castro for three! Oh! Spins basket! There is nine here. There is nine here. There is nine here. Castro has come up with three three-point shots here in the second quarter, right? Oh, what a play by Jason Castro. Showing a three, the push pocket takes the head, 50-42. And we've already had a lot of exciting and anxious moments inside the big dome. And we're we were only down two we've only done two quarters so far. Let's get a chest deliver. Ali P with six points and six rebounds in the game. Ali, this is a big game for both teams. Nobody wants to go to a best of three series. And can you describe the vibe on the court among the players right now? Intense. <laughs> and uh, everyone knows what's at stake here. I mean, this is a great crowd. It's a great game, and uh, I'm glad to be a part of it. All right, well, we talked about how it was on the court, and you know that every time you play against Ginebra, you've got the entire audience that you have to deal with as well. Uh, how are you guys dealing with the external factors? We don't, we can't get emotional here. I mean, uh, you know, we, we got to keep playing and just keep working hard, you know, and we just got to ignore all the other stuff. You know, we got to, you know, keep playing physical. It, you know, our, our defense has to stay. We have to keep improving each quarter, each minute, and uh, we just got to hang in there. We got to hang in there. All right, thanks, Ali. Thanks, Good luck. And we got more PBA action coming your way, so keep it here on Solar TV. Hey, we are RPL! Please grab a copy of our album. It's now out on Naked Bars nationwide. Yeah. It's only 250, so grab a copy. Right now. Yeah. So, keep watching PBA on Solar TV! One can certainly feel the Christmas spirit uh, all around the Araneta Center, especially with our gigantic Christmas tree right outside the big dome. At uh, damang dama, amoy na amoy ang simoy ng pasto. Well, it was a pretty good first half here as you see all those lanterns. They're expensive here, you know. 
Bueno, we share siempre, we don't like to be part of the festivities, pero hindi naman dapat siya na masyado matatasan, no? Kasi hindi rin naman natin kaya bumili kung masyadong mali. Tama! <laughs> Ang tao rin, everybody wants to be part of the uh, Christmas with, with, this, with the lights and the lanterns and so on and so forth. I will get you a parole. <laughs> for, for, for <laughs> Even the food should go down a little bit. For Dr. J. Okay, uh, ito ang mga mag magaganap sa quarterfinals. No? Kaya nga napakainit ang laban. No? Because uh, these two teams, they want to grab that other twice to beat advantage. San Miguel already has the first twice to beat advantage. This is how the teams look like if the quarterfinals actually began today. That's right, you know, of course, uh, San Miguel, number one seed. They could be unseated by Talking Text if Talking Text wins the last two games. I think because uh, Talking Text has a better cushion. And they did beat San Miguel by a big margin the first time that they played. So they will get the number one. The number one goes up against number eight, two goes up against number seven, three and six, they go into a best of three, four and fifth go into a best of three. Well, yan po ang scenario. Kung kunyari lang, today nagsimula ang quarterfinals, but we do have one more play date left on Sunday, kaya marami pang pwede. Oh, we, uh, we have a Sunday and Wednesday yeah, Sunday game. Sunday and Wednesday, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, actually, it goes up to December 15 before the end of the yeah. elimination. Okay, so let's look at the halftime numbers para paliwanag kung bakit. Uh, laban pa rin itong uh, talk and text. Simply because of their three-point shooting here. They've scored seven three-points, Castro has three. And Jimmy Alapaga has two, Larry Conichero has one, and Ryan Reyes has one. Now, we're saying at the start, he never limits his opponents to only 24% shooting from three-point territory. Not in the first half. That's close to 50%, almost 44% for uh, talking text from three-point territory. That has been the difference in this eight-point lead for talking text. Of course, talking text also out-rebounded them because of Harvey Carey and uh, Ali Peek. They also had more assists, 14 to 10. They were able to execute better. He got some fast breaks, capitalized on the turnovers. But the big factor against Talking Texas is Alapaga's three fouls and Larry Fonachero's three fouls. Kelly Williams also has two fouls. But I think he never really has to step up his game. It's not the game that they want. They already allowed the team to score 50 points. The ranking that they will not score another 50 points. If they score 35 or 40, then he never would have to go up to the 80, 85, 90 point mark to be able to win this ball game. Which is, uh, as we all know, not he never start to game in want this that. conference. Yeah, they don't want that. Here's our leading scorers, Sapari na Ginebra, Mike Cortez coming off the bench with eight men also coming off the bench. Para naman sa pocket text, Castro shooting well from Rainbow Country and of course Alapad with nine points And Gary, well. because of his uh, tenacity off the boards and then cutting to the basket getting eight. The important thing I think here in the second half for Ingeva is to tighten up their defense, you know. Stop. They know that uh, they're still very much in the match because the team that shoots well from three-point territory, can they do that for another 24 minutes? Now, if you could take away the three-point shot of top text, Ingeva would be leading this game. But right now, Castro, well, Castro sitting well from Rainbow Country. At ang mahalagang makita dito, no? ito'y isang mabigat na pagsusubok para sa depensa ng Ginebra, they are considered the number one defensive team because they really keep scores low. The scores, of course, ng kanilang mga kalaban. That's right. Now, you know, they seem to be on that way in the, at the uh, start of the second quarter and midway through the second quarter. That's why they got to within two or three. But then again, the ending, uh, talking text had better composure and again they hit well plus the fact that they did get offensive rebounds which gave them second chance points now two bits on top of Jimmy Alapag here so they're tightening up uh, against Jimmy with a much bigger guard no? Kelly Williams has not been part of the scoring he uses that one wildly never starts the second half with Mark Tagiwa, Rudy Hatfield Ronald Tobin, Eric Beck and Willie Miller back pass Oh. Another back pass and a sidestep beauty by Kelly Williams. Williams. That was poetry in motion. I mean, that was two <laughs> no-look passes. <laughs> Just perfectly placed. And Williams finishing that gorgeous fast break. Well, it was all white shirts running. Four against two, actually, in that last sequence. No? Two big coming out of a pit in and out there. And again, we have the white shirts running, but... Uh, the leader is one and one and two big with a nice slap. You know, good cover also. His body was covering the referee, so there's no way you can see if there was a foul or not. If he slapped you on the hand or not. But there was no complaints for Dillinger. He accepted what happened there in that last play. 